I want to illustrate an important feature of Pipe 2000 and that is to handle uh, rural lines using uh, peak demand diversity curves as recommended by a number of states. Uh, we're looking at this small system. We have a 50 PSI supply and these numbers 2, 2, 1, and 5 represent the number of domestic users that are connected to each line. Now we also have within the database under the system data we have an average residential demand of one gallon per minute per meter. So when we do a conventional analysis we basically distribute the demand to either end of the line or if it has a fixed grade node we put the demand at the far end. So this line would have a five gallon per minute demand, this line would have a one at each end and this would have 0.5. Now we're going to go through and do a conventional analysis here. We analyze the system and we go through a conventional analysis which I'm doing now. The analysis point and now I'm going to turn on the information, the flow rates and the pressures. And we see now that we have uh, the flow rates we would expect, 10 gallons here to serve the 10 users, 5, 4, 2 and a half here. And the pressures, there's very little pressure drop. But now, if we use the, the peak demand diversity concept, uh, which states that we should have an amount of flow based on the number of users, and this is the amount of flow that's recommended by some considerations, that if you have one user, you have 11.3 gallons per minute, and so on. So we're going to use this curve to allocate the flows. And now what I'm going to do is go through an alternate analysis using the rural program so I'm going to select Rural Analysis and analyze this. And when this is complete, we see a totally different result. Uh, we have 22.6 gallons per minute because this line is serving 10 users. We have 11.3 gallons per minute because this line is serving one user. We have large, much larger pressure drops. And this is the result of doing the allocations based on the peak demand diversity curve.